It's Bethel and Harbor time, lady. Let's do it. Okay, um, lots going on. Um, in the last few weeks, when we've been doing the Python on hardware segment, we would focus in on one big story, but I wanted to show the cornucopia mm. of stories and more that Anne and team put together, mostly Anne. Um, so we covered Pi Day. Um, we also uh, had a note about um, the Raspberry Pi Foundation, which is different than the Raspberry Pi company. Um, the foundation supports kids, gets stuff out to everyone. If you're thinking about donating uh, to a cause that gets computer science into the brains of youngins, this might be to think about. Um, we also try to put things in like reminders. Um, we did a rollout a long time ago with our team, but now the rest of the, the world is 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 doing we're all doing the same thing so github is going to start rolling out two-factor authentication so if you're using github you will need to use it in some way yeah um that's good um or more little ways for security the better um make interviewed geek mom projects you, you use a lot of our stuff um using circuit python and neuroscience and so if you just go through and see all the different projects how many projects it's a phone dialers uh this is a really neat aquarium that you can use a native fruit MagTag and CircuitPython, um, a theremin. Uh, but there is, uh, well, there's two things. One is the little, yeah, this cute little guy. Yeah, this is a new RP2040 Lego minifig. Oh, um, it's got little and it uh, runs circuit, nine LEDs. Yeah, and it runs CircuitPython. Mm -hmm. um, and there's just like a ton of stuff. But there was one that I thought that was neat because we, we had released this a while ago, and this was a really good video. Um, this is if you want to use your computer as like a hardware interface, right? Yeah. Like, is it the best? Um, yeah, start? basically it's like if you have any computer, even like, you know, that runs Linux or actually it works on Mac and Windows and you want to control GPIO you know, like buttons and switches or drive NeoPixels or um, connect to SPI displays, you can use one of these um, FT232H breakout boards that we have and um, you connect it to your computer with USB and then in C Python, like on your desktop, you can use our library that talks through the FT232H to your hardware and like can, I mean, it's it's not as fast ironically as a microcontroller because that's the, everything has to go over USB. And so there's a little bit of delay. Um, but for like buttons, you know, you want to add like arcade buttons or LEDs or NeoPixels or sensor data that you want to get. Um, it can be easier than having to program a microcontroller that you then send data, right? You write the code runs instantly and gets data back and forth. So it's, it's I try to tell people how amazingly cool and useful this is. I and mean, I don't know. Also, people, it's hard to comprehend. Yeah, they don't, it's they don't like it. sometimes you don't need to use a microcontroller. You'd use a computer for stuff because then you get all the benefits of a computer without like I have to optimize everything for a yeah. microcontroller. But the other thing that's kind of neat is if you learn Python once, works lots of everywhere. places. The same CircuitPython libraries yeah, work yeah, everywhere, yeah. which is so a big goal of CircuitPython. We kind of like that. All right, so that's this week's Python on hardware. Um, don't forget, you get this. You can get this delivered every week, kind of like uh, DJ Devin's mailbox. Maybe it'll go, you've got mail. You've, uh, got <laughs> you've, got a, you've got a box full of wires. It for Daily is where you sign up. Separate site, we don't spam you we don't harvest email we kept it completely separate from all the different store stuff because we don't want your data we don't want to we don't want to we don't want to mess with you we don't want, we don't like pop-ups we don't like spam we don't like that either so you gotta you gotta be the change 